Hey, it's the Chief with Beauties and the Chief. We've got a title. <laughs> Yay! And I forgot my little slip, but it's J. Olivia. Oliviera. Oliviera. I, I can't say it, but thank you, thank you. It was. What was their original one? Do you remember? It was like. I think it was the Chief. Or the Beast. They had me as a Beast and the Beauty. No, something I think like that. that. Was, yeah. Yes. And then, and then you guys actually, or was it your idea or who's? I'm not going to take all credit. You uh, guys are yeah, pretty so awesome too. I remember too. you coming in with, with the uh, Chief. Being a the Disney Beaties fan. Disney, <laughs> yes. Now what topic are we doing today, Cammy? Kids games. That's Yay. right. And I forgot Mickey, Bart, Cammy. Cammy. So, and we're doing the top five kids games. Hello. By the way, I brought my coffee cup with a little flowers on it. <laughs> so we've got a meeple Whee! green. And we've got a our super Contigo special cup. Contigo That's right. By the way, they were here. Uh, <laughs> Steve and Cammy came over, and I had bought a Contigo, and I was, I thought it was flawed. Turns <laughs> out, thanks to the Cotter family, I was drinking out of the air hole. <laughs> If you drink like out you of the, yeah, like you, do. <laughs> you drink out of the air hole, it just pretty much runs down your face. <laughs> it was getting on the police uniform. I'm thinking, nah, I'm not a big fan of this expensive non-leak thing. And then Steve, Tammy's husband, was like, you're, you're drinking out of the wrong side. And I was like, hey, I'm drinking out of the wrong side. So already something has come out of the beauties and the chief was I learned how to use my leak free. We taught Coffee him how device. to drink. You learned yes. how to drink from Yes, they've taught me how to drink. Now, a uh, quick little housekeeping note. You may hear small child in the back. Um, Liz, my wife, is giving a bath to one of the kids that plays <laughs> these games in this house. So if you hear like a frolicking going on. <laughs> That's a good word. Yeah, 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 they're frolicking in the, in the Brunchine house, in the sod house. So um, they did not bring their husbands, or that could be the frolicking. Just, you know. <laughs> no. or, sorry, Steve. <laughs> Uh, you should you should see Jason do uh, does he frolic? Do his frolicking I around the house. He, yeah, he frolic. It's only only with me though. It's not like really? a public spectacle. <laughs> well, is it a clothed well, frolic? <laughs> don't you arrest people for public frolicking? If you publicly frolic, <laughs> you could be in a bind. We I actually got sent once to a person that was um, publicly frolicking in the middle of an intersection. Oh. They were just yeah. It turned out they thought their skin was hot. I believe that had to do with a hmm. chemical additive that had been added, and they decided Likely. to just you know get the clothing out of the way and then stand in the street. Nice oh, tip for everybody: Don't no matter who you are, you'd never want to fight a naked man. Oh, <laughs> just like you know, I've heard stories. There's no winning. There's no right winning. There. Yeah, I mean, because uh, like I was there, and I'm like, hey, you want to come out of traffic? No. Okay. <laughs> so I waited for backup, and they're like, what are you doing? He's still naked in the room. I'm like, you know what? There's no winning a fight with a naked man. No. If they showed up and like in any kind of configuration possible, I am yeah. losing. So two lessons from this episode right out of the gate. Yes. Don't fight a naked man. Bingo. That one's and huge. frolic in your own home. Frolic. Else. Yeah. Frolic oh, in the and, home. And don't drink from the air hole. <laughs> Three, three lessons three. in the first Three. If you minute. get a Contigo, the <laughs> little thing. I think this thing, is going pretty good. <laughs> yes, the little thing that has a lock on it, that's the air hole. You mm -hmm. don't want to drink from the air hole. Wow. Should good I start otherwise. the top five? Otherwise, yeah, this is great. great. These aren't even kids' lessons. I know. <laughs> these are just good. I don't good know. I think every lessons. child needs to know these things. <laughs> I go. encourage children to frolic everywhere. <laughs> Right? Well, as long as you're properly clothed so that we don't get into rule two, which is wow. driving. Yes. Number five on my top five kids list. <laughs> and also, I don't encourage frolicking while you play animal upon animal. Oh, no. Don't yeah. frolic. It's a uh, beautiful, mm -hmm. chunky hobba game. It's got a gator as its base. And you're just using dexterity to put pieces, the toucan, a mm -hmm. monkey, mm -hmm. a penguin, a crooked little snake. And you're stacking them and trying not to knock the stack over, which is why frolicking would be bad. Yep. Yeah. It's a frolic-free zone. I think for most Hobba games, that's I would agree with you, yeah. especially yes. the egg one. I don't yes. know what that one's called. Yeah, called. dancing eggs. Yeah, that. Yeah. I don't yeah. know the German pronunciation. Don't, don't frolic. You may trip someone. <laughs> so my top five kids game, which is great with people and would even work for parties, mm -hmm. is Animal Upon Animal. Mm -hmm. It's my Good five. One. Are we going left or right? Who are we going to? Let's go. go for it. Okay, going. so uh, my number five is a game that I got to play with Nils. If you guys haven't checked him out, he's got his own YouTube page as well. Um, 
and we we stayed at his house for um, the Geekway to the West. Mm. That they're wonderful people and let us stay at their home, and. Um, we played the night before Walk the Plank, which was a lot of fun and really silly when, when Nils tells you because he's, he's a lot of fun to begin with and <laughs> when he's describing games about lazy pirates, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's pretty entertaining. <laughs> Oh, cool. Now, does that tie into the other one with the shark? Hold your breath. Yes, I think so. Is there well, a hold your breath is, I don't think it's Get Bit. No. Okay, Get Bit. That's right. That's what I was thinking. that's a Lego of. one. Yeah, you're right. It's got the little yeah. like Lego kind of. Deal. But it is it is the 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 prequel to Hold Your Breath. Okay. Because you fall off the plank and then you have to hold your breath. So. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> All right. So my number five yes. is Escape. Ooh. And this one is probably a better one to play with a little bit older kids. Um, you're rolling dice, and um, there's a little bit of a sorry aspect to the game because you're able to kick people off of the ladder um, where they're trying to compete for um, the number of moves that they're going to make along the track in order to get home. So we've actually played this with um, my nephew who is, I think we started playing it with him when he was six. Mm. So fairly young and he got the idea pretty easily. I mean, maybe he wasn't making the best choices, but he really liked knocking people off the little ladder hmm. and, you know, figuring out what his dice rolls were. So, yeah, it was Kenitsia quite a good game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Love me some Kenitsia. Yep, yep, yep. So, and it's a good one um, kind of as a filler because sometimes it can go pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. um, but we've had a couple games that have taken a little bit longer depending on how many times you knock people off mm. the ladder. So. And, it, and that's one of the most important things about kids' games is that they're easy enough for them to understand. Mm -hmm. Whether they're winning or not, yep. you know. But mm -hmm. if they're having fun and they understand it, that's that's a kid's game. Agreed. I bet your Reiner doesn't frolic. No, he doesn't mm -hmm. seem like a frolicker. I think, like, board game design was his second career. His first one was, like, banking finance. Oh. I don't oh. know if there's a lot of financiers that frolic. Yeah. I frolic. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> My number four, since we're on the Frolic franchise, is Gulu Gulu. It was out of print for a while, it's back in print. Mm -hmm. It's real chunky wood. You've got these, um, well, you've got this What's bird's it's, nest. It's yeah. Pharaoh's Gulu now, isn't it? Uh, maybe well, it's it is. been, yeah, reprinted. Okay, yeah, yep. I knew it had a reprint. I've got the, it was out of print for a while, but it's got this wooden, it, do they still have in the, the original, nest? I don't know. Jason's now? got Yeah, we've got it. And it, it, it's, it's, it's still the same anymore. thing. It's still a hole and Good. everything. But it, there are some added aspects really, to it that were added. in the original. Goodness, mm -hmm. fill, fill us in on the at what's new to that one. Because it's got this great heavy wooden bowl, mm -hmm. which slick with these, these three shapes of wooden nuggets that are supposed to be eggs. They, eggs they eggs. look yeah. to me like M&M's. It looks like you've got peanut, peanut, peanut M&M's, like yeah. yes, you've yeah, got the, the regular yeah. M&M's kind of, but yeah, and, and maybe an almond one, because there's like three different yeah. sizes, the red <laughs> ones are big, and that part's a dexterity game, because to move forward on these little, what are they, what they're like, uh, they're well, not chinchillas, they're, they're wolverines, wolverines yeah. yes, and uh, they're basically going to save um, the one Gulu Gulu that's been... Picked up by a bird, I think, by is an the, eagle yeah, or something yeah, by, and dropped in the nest. Yeah, is the general theme. But you're basically picking a color, going for the egg or the peanut M and M in the nest. That, and there's a <laughs> don't eat a them. Stick. We do not condone eating yeah. them. Yeah, there's a stick in the middle of the nest that's weighted, and if you knock that out, you've got to go back and all this stuff. So the dexterity, my big fingers will be like mm, mashing <laughs> and stuff falling out. My boy will just go ploop. Oh my god, got it. Yep. So She's good at that too. She's got like the, the magic oh, yeah. sticky She's fingers. Like a surgeon. I don't know. <laughs> like a surgeon. She's come. Yeah, because I'm in there like, oh, I can't. Oh, I can't get it. My boy's laughing. And I get like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, and now what's the new one have? Um, well, the, it, there's there's like a mummy coming around. Really? That's where the pharaoh mm -hmm. aspect. Wow. And it moves on the board, so. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I knew it had been re reprinted, but I didn't know like. We definitely need to play that. Huh. The yeah. yeah, I actually haven't played it yet, but Jason was telling me all about it. Cool. Because so. yeah, he was excited about getting it. Yeah. So. Now, do they keep the wolverines or is it a different No, it's, it's, it's like a pharaoh. Okay, it's and a total pharaoh thing. Okay. You're trying to get all the scarabs and things like that. Oh, well, there so. you go. Definitely got to try to re 
everything because the, the little gulus are nice and there's different little they're cute mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. the boys always they are, are playing over the colors and stuff all right cool number that's my four well i'm gonna keep going on the cute and i think baby animals are cute so um i have the pick a series and um, that one is like pick a polar bear pick a puppy pick a pig they're a lot of fun and they actually mix in together so the the idea of the game is that you have this grid of cards and you you get a main card for yourself and then you have to pick a card that is one different from what you have or it can be exactly like it so this might be the background something that's holding wearing glasses a little baby next to it little baby puppy or whatever next to it um and you keep going until there is absolutely not another card that will continue that mm -hmm. so this if if you aren't terribly happy about fast-paced games that are like grab 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 probably not for you but <laughs> it, it is a lot of fun and and like i said this is this is one of those things that for me with kids games it, it needs to also be something that as an adult you can enjoy mm -hmm. um and i'm always all about anything that helps me use my brain so <laughs> yeah. so the pick a series cool do you guys have any of those we have all of them do you yeah, yeah. I'd be interested to see this. Yeah. So there's multiple, I mean, how many, they're like little expansions that come with it? Yeah, we, we got pick a polar bear first, but then um, there's a pick a dog and a pick a pig. I know those two. Um, hmm. I'm pretty sure that's all of them, but hmm. don't quote me on that one. No quoting. Someone <laughs> out there it. knows. There's always <laughs> someone it. there yes. that knows. Yep, we'll find well, out in the we'll comments. Phone you it. are the we'll expert. phone it, Jason. That's right. <laughs> you guys are the experts out there. There's always someone's like, mm-mm. There's a no. third one and a fifth one. It was there, not near it. Yeah, <laughs> pick a lizard. So, sorry, not really. I like lizard. lizards. Let's do lizards this. Good. We should have a lizard. <laughs> All right, my number four is Doodle Quest, hmm. um, and there's another version. It's called Looney Quest, hmm. um, and we don't own these, but have played them several times at um, conventions and I game days. I didn't know that there was a video game. I mean, yeah. a board game for it because yeah. I know it's a video game. Hmm. So it's a lot of fun. You've got. Um, these little boards that you're trying to draw dry erase um, patterns around in order to achieve different goals. So you're either trying to avoid things on the board or maybe go through and hit certain obstacles on the board, um, depending on which one you're playing on. So that's been a lot of fun to play um, just as an adult even, but having that kind of cartoony and even the video game aspect is really appealing to the kiddos too. Now tell me about the video game. I'm Ignorant on both. Go for it. Oh, don't do that. I've oh, seen it. I've I seen don't it. know. Okay. I, I don't know. It. So there's a lot about the video. So game. this is the board with dry erase, but there's a video game where you're doing similar things. I don't know. Or, okay. I didn't know there was a video game. I, I, I may be thinking the wrong thing. Okay. But it, the I know one that Looney, I saw was like you're jumping on. Yeah, things. the Looney Quest I think is themed off of that, but I don't mm -hmm. know. Hmm. Once again, yeah, I don't know. Do so you right in there? Mm -hmm. Find out. I, I put it in the slept comments. since then, so. <laughs> put it in the comments. No, that's what I love about that. There's someone there going, I know what they're talking about. Absolutely. I know put it, it and in then pull the it out. comments down there. Yeah, that's right. And we'll give you a shout out later. Yeah. Cool. All right. So we're on to number three kids' game Chicken Cha Cha Cha. And I always forget one. the third cha. Like when I originally yeah, wrote this, cha -cha. it was a chicken cha cha, mm -hmm. and then it's a cha cha cha. It's an important cha. Yeah, it is. That, that third cha is huge. It makes a big difference. You got to have the third cha. <laughs> and it, the, the whole thing falls apart without third cha. What this is is simply a memory game boosted up. Hmm. Um, you've got these very cute in the shape of uh, of an egg, and there's pairs of them, and they just round around. They like make a border, mm -hmm. and then in the center are the think of even a deck of cards but it's the same matching characters that you have on your periphery or on your your border mm -hmm. and there's just one of them and you simply um, have to remember as you're going around this border track it's kind of like what's next oh it's a wolverine eating an egg okay i need to find the wolverine eating an egg somewhere in my play field flip it no that is a worm on a rock okay Boom, well the worm on the rock is gonna be three forward, so I know where that is. And then just like any memory game, I flip, I can jump to you know, the Wolverine, and then okay, next is, I'm trying to think of one of the other ones, uh, a cute little chicken, boom, I know where that is, I get to go again. And the best part, 
You have this chunky wooden chicken. So mm -hmm. cute. Yes, chunky wooden chicken with three holes in its butt. <laughs> All right, their feather area. Their feather area. It's Think hind peacock. End. Yeah, it's yes. hind in. <laughs> and in there is a stick with a little colored knob on the end, and you start with your color. As you leapfrog over somebody, you steal their little feather out of their hind end and it goes into one of your areas. And if you can successfully leapfrog everybody, you've got a full plume on mm -hmm. the back of your chicken and you win. Now, if you've got two of them and someone leapfrogs you, they're gonna grab three. Here's the and, chop, yes, chop, chop. 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 Although it does have, I think, room for four. Is there four holes in the back? I don't remember. I think it's four hole, but I can't remember. It's gotta be. <laughs> It's I actually have played those. Oh, boys love it. Yeah, they love it. It's got to be four. I remember four pieces or four little whoop, and you get this full plume. So it's got that mm. chunky physical mm -hmm. aspect. It, it uh, scales well. If I've got little kids, we mm. put out six cards or whatever, and they, they can just nail it down quick. I've done it with adults where I have it out, and they're like, what's that? I go, it's this fun kid's game of mm -hmm. memory. And next thing you know, they're like, yeah, and boom, and I'm yeah. marching. And then there's some guy going, I can't figure out where the worm is. And I just, it's just great, and it's so visual. And and so I've done that before, and it's like grown-ups regressing yeah. back into seven-year-olds. You do realize that the worm with the grown-ups is at the bottle the bottom of the bottle. Pull out some tequila, baby. <laughs> right. And we'll frolic. We'll frolic. That's the best time to play kids' games. Let's just be honest. Yeah. Yeah, when you're doing some of those, I'm telling you, if you have no kids at all, get a few of these. Oh, we'll, yeah. we'll give you, like, the highlight for the ones. Uh, Animal Pond Animal and Chicken Cha 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 will double in as a icebreaker at a grown-up mm -hmm. party. Mm -hmm. So we'll flag mm -hmm. those as they come across. But there you go. That chicken. Those two. <laughs> I ended up playing for the first time at one of the family board game nights. Beautiful. Huh. And nice. I don't think I played with a child while no. I was there. No. So, and it was but a lot of pop fun. In. Yeah, when the children come in, they just like, boom, yeah. there's that, boom. And I'm like, mm. so. Or my memory is horrible compared to a seven-year-old. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't believe it. They just start term. whipping me. And well, I'm like, we just need to practice. I guess. That's it. I haven't been. Yeah. It's, it's a muscle, sir. Bingo. It's a muscle. <laughs> need to use it. <laughs> you are up. So my number three is a uh, is a haba. Mm. It's a rhino hero. Mm. Um, I really like this one, and this is one that you can be playing, and people will walk by and just go that. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? What is that? That's really cool. So you've got these cards that are folded, and you they're. You place them on top of each other to make a building. And some of these cards, the, the cards will tell you how you have to place them. And um, there's a little rhino that sometimes is on those cards that makes you put the rhino on it. So it, it's kind of got that whole, you know, oh goodness, I can't even It's like a house like a of cards or, almost uh, ready yeah. to fall down. Right, yeah. Not really Jenga, Jenga not works. Out, but yeah, 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 but it's it's little cards instead. Mm -hmm. And and it's just a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And if it's if it's going to go down the first round away, it's going to be me that does it. So, <laughs> uh, but it is still a lot of fun. Steve pulled that out. That's an awesome game. It almost made my list. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, I mean just the visual aspect it's of it. It's so cute. Yeah. It is ridiculous. The illustrations are super cute on the cards. Mm -hmm. And like you said, when people walk by and you've got these cards stacked up and you're moving this little rhino mm -hmm. guy around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a table drawer. It is. It's just like, mm -hmm. like yeah. what are you doing there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What kind of game is that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rhino hero. Good call. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. So my number three is Gula Gula. Yay! So I think I have learned more about Wolverines from Hobby Games than <laughs> Must be the huge Discovery Channel or Yeah, they must have a lot of Wolverines. Well, you had, you, yeah, you had the Wolverines <laughs> with your chicken cha cha cha, and I was just yeah. thinking, I, I didn't know that that Logan was so terribly excited about eggs, eggs right? <laughs> Protein. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know. They're stealing. That. <laughs> yeah, the Germans must love the Wolverine. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's a fierce little Might animal. Might be a common yeah. animal in that part of the the world. <laughs> yeah, because even in the, uh, you're right, because even on the. Um, uh, animal upon animal, they either have a porcupine or somebody told me that's a yeah, wolverine that's that? all with the hair up. Mm. Maybe it is a wolverine. I'm saying since it's mm. a hobby game, once again the wolverine makes yeah, its wolverine. appearance. Yep. <laughs> so what else on Gulu Gulu? Do you want to, I know I kind of... Uh, no, I think you hit everything. I mean, just the, I think for kids having the little tiny fingers 
digging mm-hmm. the eggs out of the nest. I mean, that's definitely fun and like it's I said, super you're colorful. You're really good at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pincers. Yeah. yeah, and it's super oh, colorful and the, the illustrations of the animals are cute and the little wolverine figurines are adorable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and if a wolverine right. can be adorable. And they were in there. They're very, they're they very colorful yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, they've got some unique Like those glowfish. Mm-hmm. You know? right. Yeah, there's like a, do you want to be teal? Yeah. <laughs> there's a teal one in there. Yeah, they're very Orange unique. Pink. And it's like, yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, there's no like solid, like that one's red. Yeah. There's none of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, you go beyond primary colors. And you can play with quite a few people. I don't, yes. know, I don't remember Is how many six? it goes up to. It might be. I think it's six because they've got, they've got a black one. Yeah. We played it why. several times in a row at Geekway really late oh, yeah. last year. That's that how you do kids games. Super it's, fun. It's gotta be, you either have to be That's intoxicated or it's late. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> My number two. Now this one's a little bit weird, so I'm gonna explain. It's Go Away Monster. Okay. Go Away Monster is like a little, little, little kids game. Um, I used it with both of my sons as their very first entry game. So I love it. If there's Bo, I tried it out at age two. And Go Away Monster is, they get a little board that they unfold and it shows a bedroom. And it's kind of got an outline for a cardboard shape that's a bed, a lamp, a picture, and a teddy bear. And then you have a grab bag kind of thing that the kids reach in. And they're supposed to use their their sense of feel to determine oh that that's the picture because it's an oblong or it's an oval shape but in there are these crazy angles which are all monsters Mm -hmm. and they're like sesame street monsters okay and so they're not supposed to pull those out they're supposed to pull out the pieces for their bed but if they get them I, I told Bo for the first time if you get it you're supposed to say go away monster and then throw it in the pit which is a box So right from the get-go, then that cute little two-year-old voice would be like, go away, monster, throw it in the pit. And then he would chuck it into the box and go, "Ah." And the whole idea is that they control their room, Mm -hmm. not the monsters. Your son is adorable. Yes, he is, yes. Um, I'm surprised he didn't run out. He loves to frolic. (laughs) He just had his bath. I was a little concerned we may have a a streaker run through. "Ah." So I I play that with him and then, I much against, well, Seth, my youngest, who's now six, he has Down syndrome. So I hadn't tried that with him at two because he wasn't ready. But at around three, three and a half, he finds it and comes out and says, game, game. And I'm like, oh, and and I thought, oh, will this work? He loved it. Now, you know, different level, different stage, but he knew bed and he's saying the base words. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I should have tried this with him sooner because he loves games too. So that is my go away monster. Um, Just a great first interaction to, hey, we're taking turns. Mm -hmm. These are the rules, the construct of the game. And then you get them into the taking the turns. and, And it's the first time they've learned to lose. Well, I got my room done before they did, or, mm-hmm. you know, I can mm-hmm. throw the game and, and I'm pulling out of, oh, I got another monster, you know, <laughs> so they get a chance to win. But it was real nice to work in that as a game structure. Super cute. Yeah, so go away, monster. That's nice, because your list definitely is, is more based around the actual kids. Mine is more, let's see, Which these, I know these are made for kids. It's <laughs> perfect. Um, I have actually talked about uh, this one before. Um, and uh, that would be Loop and Louie, mm-hmm. or Loop and Chewy, Loop and as the new one is, um, because it's absolutely ridiculous mm-hmm. and it's so much fun. And if you're playing with people with high energy, then they're really going to be into it. And if you're playing with people who are kind of lower energy, they'll get all sorts of high energy at that point. <laughs> so <laughs> it's so much fun. Just hitting the little thing, making making the plane fly around and hit your friends. And sometimes it get the best part is when it goes up and it stays in the center mm-hmm. like for a little bit and then. It comes way for it. <laughs> yeah. So And then it lands right on top of one of your little <sighs> chickens and I'm like, never oh. fails. Oh, I know. I'm like, ah, usually it hits my own. <laughs> so so loop and chewy is my number two. Perfect. Now, which one do you prefer? And I know we kind of cover this, loop yeah. and chewy or loop and louie? Loop and louie. You get four players with that versus mm-hmm. the three. So for some yeah. reason, I feel like the plane, the Red Baron plane, flips more for me too, or something. But I don't know. I haven't played the new one. Yeah. I mean, poop and doopy. Sorry. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That is right. I know we've had. Go watch our other shows, and you'll see more discussion on this if you About did. poop and doopy. That's right. Alrighty. 
Here's my number two. Yes. Oh. Snorta. We played that one not too we long ago with you guys. Yes. Mm-hmm. So this is um, a game of fun and hilarity. You're going to be making all kinds of animal noises at one another, and they're probably not going to be the correct animal noises. <laughs> <laughs> so each person has this adorable little barn that's in front of them. Show the barn. Okay, I'll You've pull it up the barn. You've got to see this barn. Because so there's multiple and versions the of this game. And the are so cute, too. Yes. Which which company makes this version? Uh, I think Mattel? this is Mattel. Okay. Yep. So here's the adorable little barn. Phenomenal. And there's all of these Aww. super cute little animal figurines Mm -hmm. and they're so cartoony and have just the greatest expression so everybody gets an animal at the beginning of the game you show what your animal is and you make the animal sound you were the owl (laughs) and then you hide it in your barn and then you're going to be taking cards and each person is going to place a card face up from their hand (laughs) and once um someone's card gets turned over you turn over your own card and it matches another one in front of another player you then have to make the sound of that person's animal not the card that was displayed just then but the sound of the animal in their barn and even these are ridiculously crazy i got out of the light look at that (laughs) so it kind of get your brain that going like in, a, your in an odd way because <laughs> you're having to remember you know what each person is She's and over here. you automatically want to say yes. the sound of the animal that just got turned over but you have to remember oh no bart was the owl so i have to say who before he says yes. bow wow yeah, yeah this is like it's weird because it's a simple brain burner Mm-hmm. There's a lot of pointing that goes on this game <laughs> because you're going, ah, uh, ah, uh, woof, woof. I'm, I'm the person that when it's my turn, I have the card down and I'm looking around and I'm going, mm-hmm. hiss, hiss, <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. quack, quack, ooh. ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Before I flip the card uh-huh. over, to, and it may not match anything, but I went back through. <laughs> you are 100% right. It turns into like, like you turn into the sound. I'm yeah. trying to think of you as the sound. Right. Your new name, by yes. the way. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> That's what so I was. I played this for the first time with um, a guy that came to Tornado Alley, our local annual all day board game event, and his two kids. Mm-hmm. And I think they were around, I don't know, six and eight. Mm. Totally kicked my butt. I mean, they're professionals at this mm-hmm. game. It was so much fun. Yeah, because they got the idea where there's a card in there that makes someone switch animals as well. The so, card, uh, yeah, right. you just get used to you being a quack quack, mm-hmm. and then you turn into an oink oink. 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 Right. <laughs> it's like, no. That was your wife. I know. I know. <laughs> All I can think of, because she was the one in our game that kept getting the switch going on. That's that funny. Great. That's still locked in there. Snorta. And there's other, there's other, like three different releases of this, some that don't have the cool barn. Right. And I'm trying to remember. Steve always reminds me of the fun name mm. that it was also published under. It's it like quack quack moo out. or quack quack moo uh, something like that. Yeah, it was several of the noises and mm. yeah, succession. And you know, so yes. Yes. down there, right out there, <laughs> yes. you know. Throw it in the comments. <laughs> so my number one dun, dun, dun. is the Magic Labyrinth. Have you guys oh, played this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, Magic Labyrinth. The cool gimmick that works really, really well is. There is um, ball, steel ball bearings, and your character starts on the corner. So all the characters start on the corners with a magnet. Hmm. Okay. Now, the board, the cardboard board, which is just a, a, a square hex, or not hex, but a square section, it lifts off, and underneath are wood, little wood things you put in, and they make walls. Okay, it's like so, a maze. Right, underneath it makes a board. maze, a wooden way, and you can configure and change mm-hmm. it, and then everything slopes so the balls will roll out. Well, then you put the, the board back on top with the little guys in their ball. What happens is you have these little discs, like uh, it's supposed to be you're all magicians or mm-hmm. magic wizards, wizards and you want to go collect, like, where's the candle, where's the flower, where's the spider, and they're pulled out of a bag, and then the symbol matches the symbol that's somewhere on that little okay. grid. And you have to move to it. Now, none of the, because you spin the board, so nobody knows where these these actual little wooden things that are going to knock your ball off. Oh. So what it feels like is is you, you, 
the idea is there's these hidden magic walls mm-hmm. that you run into. Oh, okay. And it feels that way because there's nothing visible on the board, but the wooden blocks will knock your ball mm-hmm. off. So if I say, I, I roll the dice and I can move three, I'm like, I'm going here. Oh, and you make it, but you're waiting for that ball bearing to hit. And then yeah. now I'm taking a right. Oh, I made it. And then you'll go another one and boom, the ball falls off and rolls down. You got to go back to the Back to the start, yeah. So and you're just going around trying to collect these little, I forget what they call them, like magic trinket things. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's it's a memory game because you got to remember there's a wall there and then there's a wall over here and a wall over there. When I play with little kids, I used to save the little punch out things and they could put them on the top so they could kind of visualize That's a great idea, yeah. So, but... uh, just love it because it was gimmicky, but it works so well. Mm-hmm. And the kids get in mm-hmm. and and they learn and they're thinking. And the only thing we got to make sure is that when they when they I make them say where they're moving, oh. because they'll feel the ball uh-huh. touch and go, oh, I don't want to go that you way. You feel the resistance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not. I'm. Not, I wasn't. I was just thinking. <laughs> and I'm like, no, you got to say where you're going, then go. Then say where you're going and go. So, because there was some cheating going oh. on up in here. Yes, but we got over that pretty quick. So. That so was another one labyrinth. I got to play for the first time at a Bonding Through Board Games family night. Ooh. Awesome. Another awesome. plug for that. Yes, yeah. K-State, my wife runs this Bonding Through Board Games, and uh, and that is exactly where she brought that in. So, mm-hmm. cool. Awesome. Um, my number one is Coconuts. Coconuts. Um, I know I've spoken about this before, but it's a lot of fun. We got the monkey shooting mm. these coconuts I'll not tag team this Ooh. one because it's my number one too Ooh. not milk duds okay so <laughs> again we've got another game that we're talking about this episode that you don't want to eat okay how about we get a fun monkey oh. out yeah there's a monkey oh, a fun monkey <laughs> um and i've played it with the cards that give you special abilities and stuff like that i don't know that i like them really i don't know that i like them have you played this? I have at Tornado Alley. Look at his face. Yeah, they're just so fun to just launch and and, uh, and flip Let's around. Let's pull some milk duds out. <laughs> you want to put a cup out there? The yeah, dog you can't have any milk Karina duds. Karina the dog, you may see a nose, so, you may hear a wine. We have Coconuts Duo, which adds to the base game, and it comes with fun green coconuts mm-hmm. in addition to the milk duddy ones. Mm-hmm. Oh goodness, you want me to do this? Yes. Sure, try it out. No one Take knows where it'll go. This is both of your number ones. Here, try and get I'm it in the bucket. In the, oh, that's going to be it. <laughs> we should watch. The dog will move on that. Oh, oh so close. So close. There's the dog. There's the dog. Right on the dog's tail. Right. Yeah, it's good. I'm glad she didn't eat it. She is so fat. I got a shepherd to go. <laughs> and we'd have a piece gone. So, how does the green... They're just green. Okay, they're just green. (laughs) So they added more. It's not like they're a bonus point or anything. No, you could do some kind of house rule variation. But totally look like milk duds. Yeah, don't eat it. And they almost feel like a milk dud at first. Yeah, they are kind of. Those aren't. Those aren't milk duds, and Gulu Gulu are not peanut butter ones. So favorite thing on this, just the physical aspect of it. It's so much fun. I mean, it really is, and. There are, you might run into people who are actually really good at it, but I think it's more fun when everybody's like not. <laughs> right. So, yeah. We always end up catching people's coconuts across the table, mm-hmm. so we're ready to, yeah, keep it from flying across the Because everybody, room. everybody has, is there only one of these guys no, in there? Yeah, everybody has their own monkey. Right. So and do both get you more. Right. Gotcha. And then you're just shooting in, the, in multiple cups. Right, so you arrange them. And is this a Korean game yes. again? Yes. Yep. Yep, right there. It's apparently what we do. Yes. <laughs> I love that. It's great because our um, nephews and niece will come over and they'll say, oh, we want to play the monkey game. I, I'm, I'm sorry, oh, but he's on yes. this cloud over here. And um, he looks like he's from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> like, I don't know what why he's on a cloud, but he's got a Nimbus and, you know, don't yeah. just don't question it. I'm not yeah. questioning it. It's yeah. a Korean game, so yeah. I actually like the um, the cards that give you the different powers because it can force another player to like take a long shot where you have to move your monkey mm-hmm. further away from the buckets. Or <laughs> one of the ones I really like is you can you're supposed to be able to blow when somebody shoots a coconut <laughs> to try to get it off of its 
aerodynamic path. Right. <laughs> but my sister in law <laughs> decided to play it where she blew at, at her and dad. <laughs> okay. So there's like a distraction. It's like, oh, like, oh, oh I misfired my monkey. So I, I was, was going to say, that's really like some take on the car stuff going right. on there. Yeah. Like, please I don't spit on even. me. Don't spit on the cord. <laughs> Just do. <Yeah. ew. laughs> so, yeah. You know, I, I may end up having to get this as well. Oh, the boys would love it. They would. I just I mean, know look at this they would. Little love guy. It. He's and, so cute. And uh, they he doesn't love, have an Nimbus though. He's uh, not. Well, I got Bling Bling Gemstone, and it's one of Seth's favorite games. Is it? Yeah, because right. he'll just, you know, sometimes he's taken down the whole tower. Sure. <laughs> That's all right. Right. So it is very cool. So I am learning a lot. Hopefully, you guys are too. <laughs> um, so we we do have our name, Beauties and the Chief. Thanks to a, uh, a viewer that uh, helped us pick out a name. And uh, we're running good. Anything else you guys want to throw in? Um, I, I have a lot. I don't have children of my own, but I do have fun playing with them. Yep. Play games with your kids, everybody. Yay! Good. And play them with the old people, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Like my mom and stepdad would love these oh, more yeah. than what I pull out. Like I tend to per pull out, you know, like... Uh, you know, even Medici, I'll be like, Medici, and they're like, we're doing what? We're loading goods from the Renaissance in a boat? Oh, uh, you know what works for me? What? Like, if it's zombies or if it's Old West, my dad is all about them. Mm -hmm. So, there you go. That works for me. There you go. All right. And Jim, Jim, bling, bling. No, bling, 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 bling Jim Stone. Stone. <laughs> in Korean. Uh, I, yeah. All right. We're out of here. Frolic, everyone, frolic. Uh, frolic on your, frolic. Yeah, at, home. at home. Frolic, or clothe in the street. Well, not in the street, sidewalk. <laughs> at home. Sorry, Are you, don't listen to any to advice I'm giving. Yeah, I don't here. want to get you in trouble with your local constabulary. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>